Often when we hear scientists or media reporting on mysterious topics, especially ones that are gaining a lot of attention or that seem to be paranormal, they like to use this phrase, mystery solved. Is it really? Or is that just a way to get people to think that there is no mystery? Science has solved it so we can stop wondering, stop asking questions, stop believing in higher powers or aliens or whatever mystery, and just go back to life as usual. Perhaps we might want to all be wary of this phrase, mystery solved. Life is one big mystery. Our universe is an even bigger one. And the biggest mystery of all is us. Who are we? What is our potential? Exploring the mysteries is what brings meaning and curiosity and a desire to seek more knowledge so that we can grow from it. Rather than trying to explain away the mystery, let's embrace it. Let's welcome a bit more magic and mystery into our lives. When we do, life becomes a lot more exciting and interesting. That is why this series is called Mystery Teachings. And that is also why mystery schools are called mystery schools. Rather than trying to explain away the mystery or hide the mystery as some suspect, it's about exploring the mysteries of life, the universe, the soul, the nature of spirit and of the self. Despite the way that scientists interpret this idea of a multiverse, it too is a mystery worth exploring. Why? Well, because it helps us to touch infinity and expand our mind to remember who we are as eternal beings. Metaphysics also works with the ideas of multiverses and parallel realities, while still including consciousness and spirit as vital ingredients. Let's explore what both science and metaphysics have to say on these ideas and how they can be used in a way that actually empowers our lives in the here and now. We've learned that string theory provides some exciting and beautiful possibilities for discovering a unified theory of everything. And string theory is what has opened the door to the multiverse idea in science. How did it do that? Well, it goes back to the issue that string theorists are grappling with, the challenge of identifying the exact geometry of the superstrings and extra dimensions hidden within our universe. They have many candidate shapes allowed by the math, over 10 to the power 500 possibilities, which is a massive number. Each geometry theoretically corresponding to its own universe with a different set of physical laws and tuning. But rather than saying there can be only one right answer, resulting in only one universe, namely ours, string theorists have instead proposed that all of these possibilities are equally probable and likely exist somewhere within a multiverse, meaning there are at least 10 to the power 500 differently tuned universes out there in the multiverse, maybe even infinite numbers. But this part where they say they're all equally probable and all exist, this is the part where some scientists then claim that this means that there is nothing special about the fine tuning of our universe. We simply find these sets of parameters in our universe because we can only exist in a universe that is fine tuned for life. But there are many other types of universes in the multiverse. We are just one possibility in an infinite sea, nothing special, therefore mystery solved. Or not. Really, all of this is speculation based on assumptions, not evidence. How about we explore another perspective? What does metaphysics say about this? Well, to answer that, let's first take a look at Hermetic teachings. In the Hermetic teachings on the principle of mentalism, which says the all is mind, the universe is mental, it later goes on to say that the all creates universes in its own mentality. And there are millions of millions of such universes in existence within the infinite mind of the all. There it is. Hermeticists have been talking about the idea of a multiverse long before modern scientists. But they conceive that this multiverse is within the infinite mind of the all. They then go on to say that you are dwelling in the infinite mind of the all and your possibilities and opportunities are infinite, both in time and space. 
In other words, we are evolving within the all, and there are infinite possibilities and ways in which we can evolve in our journey through eternity. Rather than rob us of the spirit or divine source, the hermetic approach to the multiverse empowers us to realize our infinite possibilities and eternal being. <laughs>